Tippy time with Jamie's Top Cat here and welcome back to the channel. Back on the Hunter today as I finally got that combo of Spirit of Liars and Spirit of Caliban. Since Ark 3.0 came out some years ago, Ark Hunter has been one of the absolute kings when it came to soloing activities. This was in large part to that dodge punch combo of Gambler's Dodge and Combination Blow. However, on Prismatic, this felt a little bit limp in the sock without having lethal current, throwing out tons of extra area of effect damage. But by combining that power of Liars with the AoE of Calibans, I'm all gloved up and ready to muck it up. This is a serious melee build. It grows up to 35 times in strength. At base, we start at 8,685. This grows to 13,897 after our initial kill. After our second, we hit 22k. Our third and final of the combination stack will take us up to 35.5. With combination blow, we had 20 seconds to find our next victim. So this is really quite easy to keep up at that times three strength. Our liar's handshake perk is counter punch. This increases our melee damage three times over. It's activated when we're melee or after we do melee damage. This can be either on a kill or just a simple hit. We've got three seconds to use it, more than enough time to grab that 106,000 damage. Using Facet of Dominance, our Arc, Solar or Void abilities get 10% stronger when our target is debuffed by either Stasis or Strand. Our Winter Shroud aspect slows as we dodge. So when we run in there full tip at our foe, we dodge to the side, then follow through with a fist. If that gap is too far to close safely, I use that Dustball Grenade. This is also great against those thick boys who may take a few more thwacks to get rid of. Using that Shield Crush perk in the artifact, we see a 25% bonus to our melees whenever we have either Frost Armor, Overshields, or Woven Mail. This build has a mod layout that integrates seamlessly, so it's with us for every kill. Using Transference, whilst we are Transcendent, we get another 10% bump for 161,000 damage. Any shotgun that rolls 1-2 punch will always be a very strong pick here with that combination playstyle. Land all our pallets, and that follow-up melee hits for 225,000 damage. But if you were so inclined to use that weaken from our weakened nades, this jumps to 282, or the tractor cannon pushes to 308,000. But as stated at the top, it's the Calibans gifting us massive amounts of scorch damage that eviscerates foes with fire. We use Ruin to make these ignitions post melee much more potent. And with our melees on tap, we make the most of our gunpowder gamble, but its uptime on Prismatic is just silly. You need 6 charges to get your sticks, but 1 melee equals 4 charges. But we've also got that Caliban explosion killing for us. So with just 1 melee, we can get ourselves some TNT. Ruin will also buff our Shatters. This makes our Prismatic Grenade twice as good being both Fire and Ice. And with two avenues to slow, that's more Freeze and more Shatters. So now offensively we are set. But we need to be able to stand toe to toe with our foes, so let's talk defense. Using that Arc Melee, this gives us a steady stream of Amplify. This allows us to make the most of that Galvanic Armor mod in the Artifact. Pair that with Facet of Protection, and we are again given a damage resistance whilst we are surrounded by foes. I'm triple stacking heavy handed mods. One gives us an orb every 10 seconds, two every five, but I'll be throwing more fists than an Irish wedding, so with three, we can make an orb every second. These orbs give us health back thanks to the Recuperation mod, and with the Powerful Attraction mod, we collect these orbs after dodging, acting as a sort of makeshift worm husk. Additionally, with Facet of Blessing, we can heal from our melee kills. We talked Shield Crush earlier, 
with purpose we get a steady stream of it, but it's also giving us defense when we pick up an orb of power. Strand is no doubt the tankiest, but I actually prefer the consistency of the stasis frost armor with that 10 second timer. So now we got 30% DR from Galvanic, 15 from Protection, and up to 22.5 from Frost. With all this, we can get close enough to smell some bad guy BO. Our last fragment slot is a little bit of a free choice. I like using Facet of Bravery. This gives us unraveling rounds off the back of our melee kills for 8 seconds. This in turn spreads that green mist everywhere, helping to debuff for our strong arc melees. We got that Swordbreaker shoddy, it's Strand, and it has 1-2 punch, and this can be acquired from the Crota Raid. Feel free to pause here for all my mods, stats, artifact, and fragments, but there will be a dim link in the description below. This build is that roly-poly fantasy that we all know and love from Arc 3.0. Instead though, now we subdue with Stasis and incinerate with Solar and can do so both in close quarters and downrange. It's the perfect reimagining. But I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you like better, jolts or ignitions? Make sure to thumb it if you dug it, sub if you're new, and as always, tippy tie my damies, what a tie.